Hello everyone, Dan from BMW Sudbury here again. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the 2022 BMW M440i xDrive convertible. This particular car is finished in Arctic Race Blue Metallic. So kind of similar to if you've ever seen Barcelona Blue. It's a little, little different, kind of in the same vein as that color that color is on the 8 series. Arctic Race Blue is only on the 4 series. Let's see our 19 inch style 792M wheels. This car has all season tires on it, those being in New England. Let's see our M Sport brakes behind there as well. This car is optioned with the LED laser lights. Let's take a look at those the laser assisted high beam. And you actually see the cornering light right there as well. So that'll actually turn on when you have the steering wheel turned either way, just to illuminate where you're turning. Look at the front, it's our Kimmy grill, finished in cerium gray, which comes standard. If you opt for the shadow line package, you can get that in black. And then when you get that, the mirror caps would also be black and the exhaust tips. This car also has the driving assistance professional package. You can see the sensor right there. Try to do their best to blend it in with the grill. And these are Syrian gray mirror caps. And something they did on 2021s, to a lot of the M Performance models, they actually changed the Syrian gray finish. So it doesn't, it no longer shows fingerprints and is hard to clean. It's very easy to clean and doesn't show fingerprints now, which is nice. I like to call it Cerium Gray 2.0, you could say. So that's a nice upgrade they did last year. And coming around back. For 40i X Drive. So last year, 2021, all four series convertibles were only rear wheel drive. Uh, so now you, the 430i as well as M440i convertibles are available in xDrive. Let me see our exhaust tips. Condition cerium gray. Since this car does not have the shadow line package. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. And under the hood, we have our three liter straight six, turbocharged, known as the B58. This car, it makes 382 horsepower, as well as 369 foot-pounds of torque. Zero to 60 is gonna be right around, right around four seconds in the real world. This car also has the 48 volt mild hybrid system. So you can see, you kind of see one of those purple braided lines back there. So this is shared amongst many of the 40i six-cylinder models that BMW offers. So that can aid in performance as well as in efficiency. So on the front of the engine is actually a, a generator, alternator, that can actually power the engine, powered by the 48 volt battery, which is actually over there. So under, you know, hard acceleration, that alternator generator can actually kick in and assist the engine and actually aid the engine with 11 additional horsepower in a little burst and it'll actually say e-boost in the gauge cluster and it'll light up blue a little bit just to let you know that that system is activated cars that have this delete the auto start stop button inside the car so you can you cannot disable the auto start stop system on cars that have the 48 volt mild hybrid the car will just shut off when it's thinks it's appropriate, unless you have the car in sport mode, then the engine will stay on regardless if you come to a stop or not. So, only a great powertrain. Now it's coupled with the X-Drive all-wheel drive. It's great for a New England winter. Right, let's go in and close the hood. And we take a look at the interior. So this car has the black Fernasca leather. 
also have a Takora Red, an Oyster, Cognac available as well, as well as a Mocha, which is a, a dark sort of chocolate brown. Our Harman Kardon sound system. We're gonna look at the back seat. Just a two plus two. You have your cup holders in the middle there. You still have your Isofix latches. If you're going to put a child seat in. And the seat just goes back to where it was. If you flip it forward. And if we hop in, and we'll start it up. And we have our. And a specific steering wheel. And there. Of course, our, pad our paddle shifters. And this car having the driving assistance professional package, you get all the extra buttons for that system. So we have our mode button there, the, your third mode, the assist plus mode with this system. And the car can drive itself in traffic situations up to 40 miles per hour. And that camera in the middle of the gauge cluster actually looks at your eyes just to make sure you're still paying attention. So it's a nice system to use if you're a little fatigued on a long trip and you get stuck in traffic. You kind of let the car do most of the work, but you still have to monitor it. And come down here, typical center console and any 3 Series, 4 Series. This car also has our neck warmers. So those two buttons either side of the button for the top. So hit that. It'll actually come out of this little vent in the headrest and just keep your neck a little warm. Uh, if it's a cooler day but you want to have the top down, you have that on both sides. And this is all very typical 3 series, 4 series. Standard navigation, your 10, 10 and a quarter inch screen, standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. This car also has your head-up display, because it has the premium package. This is kind of flickering because of the camera. And of course your 12.3 inch live cockpit digital display. So let's go ahead, take a look in the trunk. And we have our all weather mats, our carpeted mats back here. And this portion can actually be flipped up when the top is up to give you a little more space. And this release right here, I'll actually pull it, so that will let you fold the rear seat forward. Then that thing right there is actually your air deflector. So it actually goes right across here in the rear seat and then part of it actually comes up behind front seats. So if you have that up and all four windows up, you can really get, you know, minimize the amount of wind entering the vehicle when the top is down, which is pretty nice. So that's a nice carryover they had from the previous gen 4 Series convertible where they stow the air deflector behind the back seat. Just keep it out of the way and it won't shift around when you're driving. Cool thing on the 4 Series is to actually integrate the backup camera into the roundel on the back of the car. So you can see right there. It's a little something unique to the 4 Series. So if you have any questions on a 4 Series convertible or any BMW for that matter, just feel free to leave a comment down below and we'd have to get back to you. Thanks. See you in the next one. Another thing that's cool on these newer BMW convertibles is that if you actually press and hold the lock button on the key, you can actually put the top up. So it's going to keep it held, and you can see the whole process of the top going up. And we can also just get a look at how the car looks up, uh, how the car looks with the top up as well. So this is a soft top. Of course, the previous generation was a hard top convertible. And there's actually some aluminum sheets within 
the top itself underneath the fabric. So it really prevents as much wind noise and just sound in general to enter the cabin. So it's a really quiet ride, even though it is a soft top. And then we can actually look in the trunk. And now we can flip up this little portion there. So you know, now you have your maximum amount of trunk space. So good on a long trip. If you've got some luggage to put in the trunk, you can do that. Cool. See you the next one. Mm -hmm.